next video, I'll show you how to use StatCrunch to create a simple linear least squares regression model. In other words, how to fit a straight line through, the, uh, through a data set with two variables. Um, to start off, you're going to need a data set. Uh, currently, my data set is in Excel, but it could be as a comma separated a value file or it could already be in StatCrunch. And you also need to have an account with StatCrunch. Um, and if you have a My Stat Lab account, you already have the StatCrunch software. Um, I'm going to my uh, My Stat Lab course. And you can just click on StatCrunch over here. And I'll click on the StatCrunch website option, and this will automatically log me into StatCrunch. Um, on the top, I'm going to click on Open StatCrunch and it should open up StatCrunch. Since my data set is not already in StatCrunch, um, you can import it, or if you have Excel and your data is already in Excel, um, I'll just highlight my columns of data, press Control C to copy, then go back to StatCrunch, um, click on where it says VAR1, because I do have data labels and I want to carry over those data labels, so click on VAR1 and then just press control V to paste it in. So here you go, uh, here is our data set. One thing I want you to notice here, there are a few, um, this was a survey of shoe sizes and heights um, in two of my stats classes from several years ago. And one person did not respond to the height question and another person didn't respond to the gender question. The uh, not responding to the gender question is not a big deal because I'm really just modeling height and shoe size. But the non-response to height means that if I were to run the regression um, analysis the way it is right now, it would just exclude that, very, uh, that line. So it would exclude row 30. So this person would just not be included. If I happen to remember this person's height, I could type it in or if I can approximate the value, I could uh, estimate it now. But I'll just let it exclude that value. Not a big deal. All right, so a few things. Um, first, if you want to create a scatter plot to see what the data looks like, since it's a graph, you're going to click on graph. And I'm going to select, uh, let's find it, um, scatter plot. Um, my x variable happens to be in the first column. I want my x variable to be the variable that I want to use to predict the other variable. So um, I want height to predict shoe size. So shoe size is my dependent variable or my y variable. Stack crunch um, for creating scatter plots allows you to group things in different colors. So I'll group things by gender. You don't have to do this, but it's just nice to get a visual idea of what the data looks like. Um, all the other options you can leave just the way they are. But I do want to put labels in my graph. So my x-axis label will be height. And this was height measured in inches. And the y-axis was shoe size, and it was the US male version of shoe size, or at least that was the intent. I could put a title as well, uh, maybe scatter plot of shoe size data. And you can be more descriptive than that if you like. And then click compute. So here's the uh, scatter plot, and as you can see, it has three different color dots. The blues are the females, the red are the males, and the green dot here is somebody who didn't respond to the question. And if you notice, um, the lowest value here looks to be about three. Um, in fact, if you hover over it, it will show that the U.S. male shoe size is three and the height is 57 inches. So that one person who with a shoe size of two and a half was, was excluded from this data set. To copy this file, click on Options, and then click Copy. This won't actually copy the picture yet. What you want to do is you want to follow the directions. So it says here, right-click the image and select Copy Image or just Copy. Then to paste into Word or PowerPoint, choose Paste Special, which is Control-Alt-V, and select Device Independent Bitmap. All right, so following those directions, I want to right-click on this image and select Copy. Then go over to Word, and then instead of just pressing Control V or just pasting it, I want to hit Control Alt V, and that brings up this um, menu option here. And I want to click Device Independent Bitmap, and then click OK. And there you go. Um, 
So there's a beautiful scatter plot of our data set. Now what we want to do ultimately is to create a line through this data set, and that's what regression is all about. So going back to StatCrunch, let me close out all these windows. Um, to do any kind of analysis, you're going to click on Stat, and we want to select Regression, then Simple Linear. Then select your X variable. So my X variable was height, and my Y variable is shoe size, because shoe size is what I want to predict. You can select group by, but if you're doing simple linear regression, you don't want to. So there's no group by option here. Um, you have a choice whether or not you want to do hypothesis testing or confidence intervals in your analysis. It, I'm not going to look at either, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we don't want to do any kind of transformations. You don't want any predictions. Just leave it the way it is. Um, you can include some graphs. So you could have a fitted line plot, um, um, these other, just select more than one plot, you can hit control. Um, we're not going to do that for this class. And this is designed for like an introductory statistics class, but you can use some of these other graphing techniques to check assumptions if you like. But I'll just leave the fitted line plot selected because that will give me my scatter plot with a line fitted through the data. Um, I don't want any of the other stuff, but I will put in some labels. My x-axis label will be um, height, measured in inches, and my y-axis label will be shoe size, and again, that's U.S. mail. Um, I'm going to skip the title option for now. You could go back and edit this if you like. Click Compute. And on the top here, you see it says 1 out of 2. If you So the first page is actually the regression analysis, the... Um, this shows you your correlation coefficient, your R-square value, your standard deviation, your y-intercept, your slope, um, p-values, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's make this a little bigger even. Um, if I go to the right here, and you can see a model fitting through the data. Okay, so if I want to copy this, I'll click on Options, Copy, and it gives me directions. Click on the output. Uh, drag the mouse to select a purport, uh, portion of it, or just hit, hit Control A to select everything. Then press Control C to copy, and then go into your other program and paste. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to press Control A, it highlights everything. Control C copies. I can go into Word, and then paste it. Control V. There you go. So here's a display of all my output. One thing really nice about StatCrunch that most software doesn't do is it actually builds the model for you. So it's saying Y shoe size is equal to the negative 24.4 plus approximately 0.5X, because X is my height. Um, but you could actually construct that yourself using these values here, the estimate values. Um, and that's really about it if you wanted to copy the this scatter plot instead of our other scatter plot. To copy this graph, you copy it in the same way you copied the scatter plot before. Click on Options, then hit Copy. Um, follow the directions. Um, so I'm going to hit right click, Copy, then go into Word, and then instead of just hitting Control V, I have to hit Control Alt V, and it didn't work. Oh, device independent bitmap. Click OK, and there you go. So that concludes this video. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.